Well, guys, I got a story for you this afternoon, and one of my friends at work came up with it. I hope that a bunch of my friends or people watching get a laugh out of it. It's a story about, um, I'm trying to think, how do I start this story? About, about six years ago, I did get a DWI. I confess I was an idiot. I had to go through therapy, Alcoholics Anonymous, all that in the DDP program. But after that, I remember I was, um, it was one week before I started craft. I bought a bunch of alcohol in the morning or whatever, and what I did was I, um, I, for some reason, I decided to drink at 10 or 11 in the morning, so I drank then, and I think I got hung over the night before, so I had a headache anyway, so I decided, oh, well, I'll take a little nap, I'll go, I went to the bowling alley, back when Cal Bowl was open, so I went in, had a, had a few drinks there, watched the band. I actually had more than I thought I did. And then the crazy part was I must have had a real depressing time. I went to A-plus up in, um, when I lived in Caledonia. I grew up there, and I tried to ask the cashier for more alcohol, and I think he served me. But then the, the what happened was after that weekend, I got home Sunday, obviously. I was hungover, but before that, before I went home, I remember I was walking around before I went to A+. Plus. I was leaving Cal Bowl. I tried to bend over and tie my shoes by Masonic Temple. And literally, guys, I did this. I fell right on the pavement and smacked my face like right here or here on one of the cheeks. I come home the next, that Sunday, Dad saw me. He's like, what's wrong, buddy? You okay? I'm like, yeah, you know me. I'm clumsy. You know, I... I tend to fall or fall a lot of times or I um, lose my balance and part of that was true but I didn't tell him about the part that I was drunk so I think it was a couple days after dad came home from work he somehow my dad talked to the A plus cashier and he said that you know your boy Danny Jr. was in here or something like that so dad found out he comes home and I was so embarrassed. That was at a time when I was hiding alcohol from my father, like an idiot. And um, Dad comes in, he's like, how was your weekend, Dan? And I think it was one week before I started craft. I did my drug test, and I was pretty sure I had the job. I think it was my last week of unemployment. And um, I'm like, well, Dad, I went to Cal Bowl, and I had a couple drinks. He's like, yeah, you got freaking tanked. And he was pissed at me. He smiled, but he was upset at me. And I remember it was probably one of my embarrassing moments. And then Dad found out I was sneaking alcohol in because I was afraid to tell him for some reason. I must have been really depressed at that point. Like when I would go out, I used to drive out to strip clubs and drive home drunk. And I remember one night I got so drunk or whatever that I remember I, I, remember I embarrassed um I was embarrassed to call my father and Nick. They were home. They kept calling me, and I was in the car drunk. And if I had drove, I could have got pulled over. But that night I didn't, and that was before the Dewey, and I was afraid to call him. And my dad, I was in, like, a really depressing state. I was, I remember I was crying. I was afraid. I was so hungover. I was a lot worse back then with the alcohol than I am now. I don't even... Rarely do I have a drink now, and I think it's what the DUI accident that I went through. My car got totaled, but I was physically fine. But um, the moral of the story is, you know, parents seem to find out everything, especially moms. But my mom's been gone for a few years. Obviously, I have brought that up on here. But somehow, Dad just... He was in the right place at the right time, and he found out, and it's just one of those moments. He said he's like, he was actually really cool about it, but he's like, you know, you can do what you want, but just remember that accident and what happened, you know, and he said he's, you know, he was cool about it. And then after that, now me and him have been honest about everything to a T. I think pretty much we have. I can't think of anything that I can hide from him that I think of that I'm hiding from him which I'm not but anyway you guys have a good day I hope my audience and my friends on Facebook or whatever get a laugh out of that video but I'm out I'm gonna relax peace